It's rotating. It's gotating. It's notating? Gotating is not a word, but notating is. That's pretty cool. I like how rotate and notate do rhyme, but they're very, very different words. It's like, um, floss and gloss. It's just like, yep, you know, one letter different, but completely different words. I don't know, I go on weird tangents. Three, two, one! Hello everybody- wow, that was a good clap. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the b and stream today on this fine 5th of February 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week has been, um, hard at work? I guess that's the, the phrase to go. It's been, it's not been like easy, but it's also not been like high pressure, high deliverable, that kind of stuff. It's just been like, yeah, you know, it's heads down, thumbs up. You got a lot of, lot of stuff to go ahead. So if you're through that kind of stuff, uh, good on you. And if that's coming up, then good luck to you, but you'll get there. I'm doing like a yeah kind of hand gesture along at the same time. Let's boot up Quake 2, shall we? Shall we? And dive right into it. Here we go. Woo. So guys, we need to be sad because today is the final Quake 2 stream. We were, uh, we did the Quake 264, and then I got two worlds into the Call of the Machine. There are six worlds total, but we did two of them. Uh, so we're on, oh my gosh, what was last week? It would have been this. Because we're in the gateway. There we go. So... We did the first world here, which is indeed ticked off, and the second world over here, which is indeed ticked off. And we shall continue on, but uh, for those of you who missed it a little bit, uh, there's, uh, there's two worlds at the end of the last stream. So if you missed those, go watch that. Uh, but not this very moment if you're watching live, or maybe later. Who knows? But we're going to dive in. We got Corpse Run. Do I remember much about these other uh, episodes? A bit. So we start off pretty much in the same... The same vein as before, and uh, it's our mission to continue on and kill the bad dudes and and burn my eyes. Infiltrate the Mega Corpse Four. I, I just had someone message me. I have so many games and I choose to play Quake all the time, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. This I love how this starts because it's like all I have is a blaster, and here's the BFG, also the flashlight. Hello, flashlight. And then you know what they do? It's locked. Hmm. And then they just spawn a ton of dudes and you're like, well, stuff it. Everyone dies. That was 15 kills in one go. Let's not use the, the BFG on one guy, but maybe uh, the swarm might want it. I love that. I just love this. It's like, yeah, just mow down tons of people. And now we can access Grant. And get the heck out of dodge where we'll need to maybe kill off one last group of them oh there's a big dude as well and with that bfg and stuff you know that's 35 kills and now you can get a regular weapon and continue on the level i like how they give you exactly three shots worth of bfg as well and that is all you need also grenades very lovely very lovely placement there this guy knows what he's doing. Who de who dead this one? Was that is that his name on the on the dropship Sugar Cube? Is that his name? We'll see. But yeah, props to whoever made. I'm pretty sure it's documented somewhere. So props to whoever started off with that one because I think that's like such an iconic start. I really hope like future game devs just look at that and go, yeah, that, that's how you start your Quake 2 like rando thing. I mean, no, uh, I know you know you can't do regular games by starting off with the best weapon in the game because the moment you get, you know, any any uh energy ammo, it's like, yep, well I got a BFG. There's no mystery. You get the double shotty and we're just taking out like little dudes this whole time. Uh but yeah no I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Um do I have anything? I don't really have anything. I got this and regular, like, just throwing grenades. Which might be okay, but we're good. We'll just take them out from a bit of a distance. That's uh, 69. Nice enemies. That's already half the enemies right then and there. <laughs> we got a fun one over there. Lots of little dudes. Watch out for, uh, Railgun McRailgunson over here. And, uh, we can continue on. Uh, this has been a kind of interesting week for a lot of things. Um, I, I think 
uh, let's start off with uh, hardware, I guess, also. Railgun. Hi there. Oh my gosh. Alas, I wish I had. Oh, I do have the grenades. Let's just go for it. Eh. <laughs> Listen, it's not a grenade launcher, but it does most of the job until I take like two hits and then it's not doing its job. I guess that's what I get for a regular railgun kind of guy. Um, I also love how, like, there is a bit of backtracking involved in this level. Like, not as in, like, you know, you go back to areas because the game just wants to pad it out, but more like, you know, there's areas that you'll revisit and it's like, oh, okay. I love this as well. This, oh my gosh. Double shotgun, my love. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about, uh, the hardware of the, the week. Uh, so first of all, um, the, uh, let's, let's do a brief status update. Uh, my, my predictions of the 4080 super, also, nice bait, I love that. Um, my predictions of the 4080 super being a nothing burger of a card came entirely true. Uh, the 4080 Super is a nothing burger of a card. It barely has any more specs than the regular 4080. Let's use one of these, why not? That's good fun. Also, just a note, I believe the secret is here. If you jump up here, you can do a bit of platforming which will get you up to a button. Shoot that. It moves back and we find a secret which leads us into the Kasali effect. This is our f uh, second secret level out of four, actually. I know, right? There's four secret levels in this, but there were one secret level in all three of the Quake 2 expansions. And three in the regular game. And Quake 64 didn't have any as well. So this level is uh, a trial of defeating a lot of dudes from a bit of a distance. And by a bit of a distance, I mean they're gonna just swarm in on you. Alright, let's... Well, I don't think I'm going to be, like, eternally safe here. But they do have a button. Why would I want to reveal that button? That's a good question. Um, but yeah, the 4080 Super was a bit of a nothing release. I don't hate it. Like, as a as a consumer... Oh my gosh, the, the rockets are pain, though. As a consumer, you know, I only buy one graphics card. And for graphics card is releasing at a lower price than the previous ones and performs the same is to me sort of the same deal as graphics card releases at the same price and is better I, I feel like it's the same maybe to some people they're gonna do the whole this is what the card should have been which is like yeah okay sure um, and and to some degree yeah no I, I completely get it because the 4080 was always priced really poorly 1200 bucks Always converted into a strat. Dang it. I'm really copping it. I'm really, really copping it. It's... Um, but yeah, no, the 4080 was always a weak card at 1200 US dollars. It launched at 2219 Australian. Uh, that is an insane price. Uh, because why not just spend the extra and get a 4090? Like, not that much extra. It, it's The 4080 is three quarters of the launch price. Also, hi there, Medic. How you doing? Get him out of here. We don't want him. There's another one back there as well, you see them. Oh, 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 oh. Let's, let's give him so he doesn't... That's what I like as well. You can, you can give him. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> We're really going here. And we still got that guy. This is going to be a bit interesting, isn't it? They really weren't kidding when they said this was a bit of a trial. It's like, yep, there are, like of these suits all over I mean it's 77 enemies and they're all trying to throw them all into this one bit here meanwhile this guy's still wandering in hi there see ya getting the heck out of dodge um let's drop the machine gun see if I can take out little dudes before I go exclusively high firepower on this guy actually let's see if we can jump over here take out these dudes while they've got shields nice Got, we got a lot of just crazy infighting on. We're nearly at the end. We're nearly at the end. I 
love like all these different like angles as well. And you still get like, you know. Here's a new weapon. The big guy is the big guy still wandering around here? Or is he done? I feel like the the dual fire damage would have actually helped like a ton. Maybe I should just use it right now just for funsies. <laughs> oh dang it. Okay. All my homies use the dual fire damage on the um BFG. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, nice, by the way. I love that. <laughs> there's still one, there's still, oh, there's still a dude wandering around there. Hold on, hold on. Let's take him out. Uh, but yeah, no, it launched at a real silly price. Um, I feel like in Australia it came down to more okay. It always was floating around at least 1700, 1800 Australian. That is okay. It's not great. And then eventually the AMD competition came out and it's like, yeah, it's really not great. At least you also get an invulnerability for, for later. Now we can just continue on. Like nothing ever happened except I'm sitting with more weapons and an invulnerability. Also, I think this is blood. Nice. Um... But yeah, the, uh, oh, hi there, how are you doing? Uh, but yeah, that price point didn't make the most sense. 4080 Super being the same card, but lower prices, like, well, I can't argue with, like, card isn't bad at all. I'm really curious how you get in there. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Flooring's a different color. Rocket? I thought we were gonna go there. Oh, hi there. Press that. And the red force field is deactivated, allowing us to go in here and go, Hi, how you doing? I, I don't have a grenade launcher, by the way. It's just regular old grenades. And he's got a shield, just to, you know, tease you a bit. But, listen, I, I'm not going to argue about the shield when it's one guy. And it's a, you know, a pretty significant, like, moment there. And on top of that, I got the ammo for it. It's when every, like, second enemy has a shield. That's when that gets kind of annoying. We can now wander into the room where he was in, and continue on through the lair, through the base. Uh, but yeah, no, the... Yeah. Here in Australia, though, the 4080 Super is not a great price. There are still 4080s out on the market for way less. And you might as well, right now, get one. So... What did I do? Oh, I, th I thought this would be quicker up the top. Da, 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 da. Wow. How much quick saving do I do? I do a ton. I do a ton of quick saving. Wow. I was gonna say humble flex. Humble flex. There it is. NVIDIA RTX 48. I sold my 4070 Ti because I was like, I used the VRAM for more that stuff. And the price was good when the 4080 Super was just about to come out. Some sores, uh, such as uh, Senecon in particular, it's had a few that they were really trying to just sell off. Uh, Umart had a couple because Umart loves competing right on the price. They're just like going, well, if there's a low price, I'm gonna... I'm... I should really use this, shouldn't I? How many giblets did I just create? I think actual... that was half the enemies in the stage right here. 38. Oh, hi there. Oh look, a CD! My favorite! Oh. Let's get him with the old fashioned. And then let's get him with the hyper blast. There you go. Does the job. CD, the data disc. Oh. We are trapped. And then I love this. I love this scenario. Escape from Mega Corpse 4. You are now in a completely dark corridor. Where they just start spawning these fellas at you. Well, they're not spawning them, they're sort of just opening the doors. But they're going to keep opening the doors, and there's going to be more of these dudes. And all you have is your trusty flashlight, and hopefully as much ammo as you had just moments ago. And you're just hearing them all around, you're like, oh my gosh, where are they? I'm not wandering in circles, I'm just going back and forth because I haven't opened the doors yet. <laughs> yeah, let's swap to the shoddy. 
There we go. We got a button, but I love this. I love this. Whoever did this, I think this actually might be the best of the worlds in the game because I feel like it is very, very iconic. Sequence completed. You know what that means? More guys coming out of the woodworks. Oh, hi there. Oh, <laughs> and the floor opens up. And they're coming down. Oh. Is he gonna try? Is he gonna make it? I'm not doing a great job of really hitting him, am I? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I really, you know, I, I, I just thought, okay, you know, time's right. Uh, and I know that, like, I'm, I'm a person to often go, who upgrades mid-generation or between generations? And here I am, I use my 4070 Ti for one year. Um, I think it's because my use of neural net programs and AI stuff, as uh, the buzzword, has definitely dramatically gone up. I have been using Whisper a lot to do my subtitles. Whisper does write the fine line on 12 gigs of memory, but it does the job. Um, and honestly, I don't think AI has done a better model, so you don't need really more memory. Um, but I feel like uh, maybe for reliability, maybe it helps. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see a bit more. Um, definitely uh, for some things, like I've been doing some uh, some voice synthesis stuff. I think it's a bit uh, over the top. And uh, obviously as well, in the past... Uh, it actually happened before the last stream. Um, uh, casually, a uh, an AI model by the name of Miku. Those are the QU, but people are posting Hatsune Miku pictures with it. Um, which is a, uh, Mistral AI, I assume the QU means, like, quanta- Oh, hi! Hi! Eh. Get him out of here! Get him out! <laughs> I don't know why I'm just going with the Tesla, but I thought it would be funny. It's still up! They, they lost it, apparently. Um, there was a 70 billion parameter, uh, model that leaked, and, uh, also, hey, check that out, nice, a 70 billion parameter model that leaked, uh, from, from Mistral AI, uh, the model is from some people's tests, it's very close to being GPT-4 levels of language correctness, and, uh, passing the tests, I love how pressing this lowers the lift by a little bit, and there's, okay, well, there's the key, so we gotta go through the blood tunnel. I love this. There's a guy just praying here. And then they spawn some medics, why not? I I find this is actually kind of interesting because it's like, these enemies are already dead. Alright, we got we got him. We're all good. We're all good, but... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, they're really coming at me, aren't they? Open the door. And run away out. So now, the Death Gate. We gotta defeat the Death Gate Warden. You know what this means. A boss fight. Let's drop the Tesla out, shall we? And we're not really reaching them quite as I'd expect. Oh yeah, and also with this fight, he's, he's launching all these dudes at you. So, not only do you gotta fight, you know, it's a pretty normal rerun of this boss fight. There's nothing really too weird about it. I don't even think he's got more health. Oh, but nice. I can take the, the rockets right at the same time. How about let's save the, the Teslas for later, because I know that's gonna come in a super useful later. Uh, and instead, just, uh, let's, let's just go on with the rockets. Do I have, I've got the invuln. Which will come in useful. I'll probably drop that sooner. <laughs> it's because he fires like three rockets all at the same time and I'm not paying attention. And it's like a balancing act because he does pre fire you, so he does try to shoot the rockets where you're about to walk into. Oh, like that. I don't know if these respawn. Probably not. I 
Okay, oh, we're doing okay. Can I keep, oh, 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 I'm in it. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> we're, we're still going hard on these enemies, apparently. Alright, well, he's done. You know what that means. Let's drop, let's drop the invuln. And let's, let's start dropping some Teslas. Technically, killing him is all you need in order to get out of here. And for good measure. Oh, no, no, no. BFG. For good measure. Oh, so good. Oh, hi there. You completely dodged that one. So good. I love it. I love it. I love me my BFG. There's also this up here if you needed an adrenaline, but I don't know. It's a bit hard and fast. This chapter's probably a bit quicker than the rest, but I love it. I really like it. Drop into the void. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> That's right, we still gotta we still gotta go, because we're on the moon. That's right. I love this. I love <laughs> just the US flag and this earth right there, we're just on the moon. The struggle of taking over the moon and they got the, the rotating lights. I love this. What is this? Wolfenstein You know the new order? They're shooting the slaves, you get a jewel fight edge. It's like, oh, it's great. And of course low gravity, because why not? We gotta have one of those, can't we? Yeah. Uh but yeah. Uh, on top of the hardware releases, we have the uh, 8600G and the 8800G. I think the 8300 and 8500G are coming out uh, soonish. Uh, but these are AMD's APUs. The verdict is uh, they're about like two and a half times better in graphics than the previous 5000G processors, which is very, very impressive. Except uh, they're also just as like two and a half times well. Like, graphics cards, regular graphics cards have gotten two and a half times better in the past, like, two years. Because this would have been when Turing was out, those GPU or those APUs came out. And now it's like, oh, we're up to ADA, and perhaps even further, very soon. Um, so, there, yeah, you know, you wouldn't really get them to play games unless the form factor is necessary. If you can't plug in PCIe devices, well, graphics cards end up being expensive again, which uh, it was the case last time. Now it's like, eh, it's, it's better. It's a, it's a better market. People say it's like trash, and it's like, yeah, it's, in Australia it's better, at least. That's all I'll say. I'm not, I'm not going to defend the $1,200 and say, oh, this is better than what... Because it's just like, I don't know, you couldn't get a 3080 here for anywhere near the right price. That thing actually was like $1,500 anyway, so it's just like, eh. I should probably drop the adrenaline at that point. The match shot is very mean after a while. We've got a button, gives us access. Pretty sure that's every enemy. We've got a blue key. Time to backtrack. Oh, technicals, my love. Oh my gosh, how many technicals did they say was enough? Get him! Get him, Tesla. <laughs> the car name down. Very nice. Uh, but yeah. But these APUs are pretty impressive. If there weren't minis for them PCs with the 7940HS. There's mobile CPUs that also have the exact same... Oh, hi there. Hi there, black hole guy. Uh, there's mobile... Uh, processes with the exact same graphics unit and oh you you jerk you jerk I'm not supposed to bring him back to life oh that's gonna get a bit awkward isn't it Are they bringing things back to life over there or? oh damn here am I taking all all the hits in the world we gotta play a bit conservative we're almost there. We're almost there, I think. Okay. Turns out I'm on the moon. Wow, okay. There's another guy. Eh. <laughs> the problem is my Tesla throws are on the moon as well. Is he gonna walk near the Tesla or nah? Oh, I, I, I think there's a lip in the step. You can't get over it. <laughs> no grenade launcher though, so uh... 
Old fashioned. Hi, can you not see me from right there? I don't think he can see me for some reason. Oh, I think he's definitely dead. Oh, he's about to be super dead. Okay, cool. Now we gotta upload some data. You know, from that CD I got ages ago. And the signal's jammed! Oh no! The Strog Jam is detected in the moon core. You know what that means? We gotta get to the core. And then they give you a phalanx, because why not? Just have some funsies with a phalanx. Hey, are these gonna open up anymore, or...? No. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Woo! I love it. This is what the phalanx is meant to be used for. Just sweeping out these guys. And they barely give you the opportunity to use it in the actual expansion. This is what I love about Call of the Machine so much, is that Quake 2's expansions don't actually use the game's mechanics as well as they should. Just some different level design, mix and match some enemies, and you breathe such new life into all of this content. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure as well. Did they hide a goodie up in one of these or no? Nah? They didn't listen. I'm an astute person. And I only tried three of those. Oh, we gotta go down. Oh, hi. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you can buy a mini for on PC, at least here in Australia, again, uh, off, uh, usually Amazon, for probably less than, like, actually building a computer with this APU. And, uh, unless you really need the uh, PCIe connectivity, which doesn't really, it's a little limited. Just a little bit, not like a ton on the, the 8600 and the 8800G, but it is, like, very, very limited below. It's like, not if you need a 16 device. If you need to buy 16 device, nah. Just don't. Don't consider these. Also, is that a double medic? That's a double black hole medic. Let's see what's different. Get him. Get him before he makes more. Oh my gosh. I'm really copping it. I don't think I got him. No, I don't. I didn't get him. He's still going. Oh no, I aimed at a wall. I think it's just BFG time. Well, I think the BFG does a little better. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, and then I love this. It's like, okay. Technical, you know. What you do? Shoot the button. It opens the pit. Where we reveal yet more technicals. Oh, let's use the rockets. Why not? Alright, one, two, there you go, lovely secret just to give you an involm, because it's like, hmm, that's only one more enemy left. That's right, we got another level, the Strog Jammers, we must defeat Macron, this looks like a reused boss fight, doesn't it? Uh, okay, let's take him out with the, uh, let's take him out with the Super Shotty. Except it does have, you know. We've got a double damage as well, very nice. Like he does have, you know, a BFG, but he also has a wall right here. Uh, which sort of gets in the way. I love this kind of arena though, and especially the lighting's good fun. could probably make the case that the BFG is not really the weapon one should be using here, especially as you start getting pummeled by more and more little dudes everywhere. There we go. Knocked his block off. Good on us. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a bit holed up in here. Bad mistake to get holed up in a little tiny Tiny cell. There we go. Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Uh, but yeah. 
Now, in actual, well, not actual, but like, uh, probably the hardware that I think is the most interesting-ish to talk about is the Apple Vision Pro. It's finally out for 3500 US dollars, uh, where you will need to pay tax on top of that. Uh, you can own a, uh, a VR slash AR headset. It's technically VR, but the screen does sort of have like a glass rear projection kind of thing where, uh, What's the, what's the thing? It's like the camera's in the back pretend like you're just looking through a piece of glass, but it is like actually a screen. I think. I'm very certain it is. Um, either there or yeah, no. Display turns off like it's Google Glass. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, the thing is built with uh, tons of cameras and stuff, and the whole point is that Apple basically wants you to hand gesture your way into victory. Also, there's two children. Why not? So, uh... Let's drop the, let's drop the involve and the double damage, and let's just go for it. So we got these, uh, these little dudes. Which, unfortunately, that involve sort of ruins it, doesn't it? Oop, we're out of this. Time to use... <laughs> also, a proper quad damage, just in case. Well, killing uh, two dudes transmits the data. You know, that wasn't transmitted before. And uh, everything blows up, but hey, we transmitted the data. It's all good in the end. But I, I love this episode. That episode is great, so. We've done it. That is all three in this wing. Let's duck over. Oh, low gravity. Or oh, high gravity. Let's duck over. We need to now do three more missions over here. Uh, so let me try and see which one is the next one. Did someone call me at this hour of night? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. It was my dad. Hi, dad. How you doing? <laughs> Thanks, dad. All okay. right. Uh, let's see. Darkest Apps. We're not doing that one. We're doing, I think, this one first. Firewall. What a wonderful name. Uh, I believe Firewall is home to another secret, so hopefully I can remember where this secret is. Obviously, it's gotta be on, uh, well, I guess this is like salt, red salt. So we gotta find an entrance through the sewers. We're doing a surface infiltration. And I love, I love the, the atmosphere, oh, that's Jupiter again. I, again, I love the atmosphere going on here. It's great. Like little little caves where these mutants are, like actually <laughs> providing love for these enemies. This is a very Daikatana area, isn't it? I don't know. Someone knows what I'm feeling. I even got lily pads. How cool is that? And more Teslas, because everyone's favorite weapon apparently. I thought there was something in the water there. Uh, but yeah, the, the Apple Vision Pro, I think what is rather incredible about it, also, thank you, Tutorial, for making sure you know what a what a power grid is. I love this wide open area as well, because it's like, how do you even like take this area on? Who knows? But you sort of got like weak weapons, you sort of going around trying to figure out, okay, well, these guys are the hit scanners, so I'm going to duck around and take these guys out, but then it's like, oh, these technicals are sort of piling up, and those guys are all the way over there. It's a kind of curious fight. I like it. Uh, the Apple Vision Pro, I gotta keep not not getting uh, interrupted by myself and my terrible train of thought. The Apple Vision Pro, um, we've seen VR, definitely before uh, the Oculus Rift, and the Google Glass is probably one of the earlier ones. Uh, even some more modern examples like the HoloLens, which is still a thing, technically, from Microsoft. Uh, but here's Apple coming in with their own, sort of late, but definitely, like, in an interesting market because they're actually selling this one, whereas Google Glass was, uh, intended to be more as a development tool and they didn't quite know exactly if people would use it. The Apple Vision Pro, though, they're like, this is, you know, the new iPhone, effectively, as they're marketing it, which is maybe a bit of a stretch, but they're like, this will change your life. And, uh, for some people, maybe that is the case. Uh, pretty much, uh, in the same way as an iPad is just an iPhone with a big screen, uh, the Apple Vision Pro is an iPhone that is permanently glued to your face. 
uh, you can, uh, you know, wave your hands and maximize windows or do kinds of things. I don't know if, what the software, um, kind of ecosystem is, but I assume you can develop for it somehow. Um, but a lot of the use cases I've seen has mostly been, yeah, you know, I'm taking a video call or I'm looking at my photos or videos or I'm browsing the web or I've got a YouTube video or something going on. Uh, but... This tower. Hey, check it out. We can start. I, I, I instinctively right click because I know I've got right click bound to like zoom in on Quake 2, on Quake 3. And then it's like, yep. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Oops. I think I gotta crouch as I dive in. Check it out. Hey. I'm back here. Nice. I love the atmosphere though. It's great. And the prime bunny hopping potential. Anyway, let's keep making our way over this way, because I know this is where you gotta go, probably. Um... Uh, I saw a couple of people's videos on it, mostly about how, like, sort of surreal it is that, like, we have technology like this now, where it's like, oh no, you brought the lazy dudes to a gunfight. Um... But we've sort of got that technology now where we can, you know, have a thing where you just start doing hand gestures out in the middle of space. You, dropping gang signs and suddenly this computer knows what you mean and it drags a window around and also like you're living in your own little virtual world and you might have like six different like windows open doing stock trading all this stuff and uh no one knows the better which uh i always sort of like i'm a bit of i'm a real boomer apparently because i've got like this the opinion of like people who have airpods um, and like, they're taking a call on it, and it's like, they just look like little tiny headphones, and they're wireless, and they're doing a call, and it properly like, cancels out all the other sounds around them, so it's just them. And it's like, man, you know, like, I, I feel old because I keep getting thrown off that they're not just talking into space. They're not just, you know, <laughs> they don't have the inner monologue, no, 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 they're just on a call. They're just on a call, it's like, oh, okay. Uh... Did I pick up a key? Oh, I have to go over, over here because I'm blind. <laughs> Drop the enemy count, but it's still like a, a rather interesting kind of environment going on here. I swear I was like seeing something. I, I was! <laughs> Alright, push the thing. And we've got access to the sewer somehow, so we'll get into that in a hot moment. Nice, there's a crash landing pod. And a little tiny ledge that we can keep going up. Uh, but it certainly is like a... Oh, I guess we're going in now. We're going in. Welcome to the Strog Flesh Labs. Flesh! I love this as well. It's like, okay, I've got to, like, grab a... Oh, I guess I've technically got two rebreathers. So we'll grab another one. Um, swimming through the flesh. Now, there is a secret level in here somewhere. They've even got the spider enemies. Love them. You know, the ones that play dead all the time. Like that one. There you go. <laughs> what a meme. I even tried going up to him to confirm and it's like, oh, I'm gonna slap you. Uh, but we are in a, like, it is a very surreal time because a product like this exists. Well, oh, I was <laughs> like... Uh, I guess, question number one, will the Apple, the Apple Vision Pro, like, stick around? And I think the long answer, or the short answer is, mm, maybe. It's a big maybe. Apple users are very dedicated, and they will indeed find the use cases for the product that sort of came out first. And that's okay, because some hardware is going to be like that. I said the uh, sort of similar thing about RTX and uh, all those extra features in the graphics cards, which do get used now. Things like opti uh, optics, OptiX, I don't know. Uh, that kind of stuff does get used eventually. Um, but, you know, for some people, and especially the market of people who buy graphics cards, might be like, why oh, would I need this? And now suddenly it's like, hey, look, I run upscaling on everything and it actually looks good this time. Uh, I've got a, I've got a, uh, a, a uh, back of the head thought of uh, people complaining about like, oh, I have to run games with upscaling. It's like, like most things in the past used to have upscaling. Not saying PC games particularly had upscaling, but like, 
I, I feel like good upscaling is definitely something you can have. Why am I continually getting lost, apparently? Good upscaling is, um, you know, something that, like, we should accept. It really wants me to go into there. Okay, well, that's a secret, but for later. Oh. Gotta disable a thing and then trigger every enemy to come fight. Oh, hype! <laughs> This is a bit of a curious fight. This is a bit of a very curious fight. Hi there. This is a, um... Our, uh, uh... Was this the cut enemy? Or the Quake 64 enemy? I think it is a cut enemy, actually. It's like a spider guy. He made spider guy. Or I forgot he was from, you know... <laughs> different expansion. I don't know. He barely showed up. If he did. I just think it's cool that he's there. Man, I'm really copping it. I'm really copping it. What am I gonna do? Let's drop the chain gun. Let's just rip him. Ah, right, he's falling over. There's still more of him. Like he's up there. There we go. Kick him. Make sure he's down. Okay, we're safe. We're good. We're good. Yeah, is Apple Vision Pro the future? I'm not too sure. There's certainly some things that people uh, have been saying about VR for a long time. Hold on, I'm gonna get a... Oh, the chair's depressing every time, every time. This chair is uh, seeing better days. Um, is, yeah, like there's some things about VR. I think I especially see the people go like it's infinite resolution in the sense of you can have virtual like monitors effectively you in vr space can look at like things that there we go i think this is a secret level baklava they give you all the good stuff must be a control switch nearby and then they proceed to spawn like just enemies in this like what is this another prospect you have seen them all explode from such a distance as well. Well, let's play Frogger. Does it count as Frogger if I'm going, like, down the river with them? This is, like, prime real estate to get hit, though, because it's like, every time you want to stand behind cover, it's like, no, it's moving on without you. There we go. Push the button, the yellow firewall is powering down. Ooh, that'd be a good item to grab. I guess I'll have to wait for a hot second. Uh but yeah, yeah, it's like you're you could you know, you could be looking at like an 8K video and you just go close to it, and then you can look at the individual like texels, I guess. The video's pixels. Vexels? I don't know what's going on there. Um and, uh, like, it doesn't matter how deep of a resolution is on your display, because you're always at the same closeness to your display. So as long as the display is high resolution enough, you know, you're safe. You're set. <laughs> you're safe and set. Um, and that's one thing that I think is cool. Have I used VR enough to really leverage that? I don't know. Um, but I think that's definitely a cool thing. I guess also, you know, all the hand gestures and stuff. In theory, someone might find out something that's actually pretty cool that you could do with it. Uh, typing in space, like, <laughs> I, a keyboard pops up in front of you and it just detects your hand motions so that it knows what keys you're typing. Um, seems like a bit of a novel kind of thing. It's like, we shouldn't be reinventing the exact same ways to type in AR as we do currently. <laughs> um, so I, I completely get that, like, there probably needs to be a better way to do text input via hand gestures. What exactly is that better way? I don't know. But, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll get there. Um, I definitely think, like, pinching and waving your hands all around. You're going to look very strange out in public, but you're wearing a $3,500 headset in public. Like, I don't think you've got to wear it in the world, apparently. Also, hey, I already got one of these, so... 
Use it again. Oh, you can tell exactly what's about to happen. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's still going. It's still going. Oh, one of them stopped. But still, that was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, a curious device. Um, I definitely saw, I, I think, uh, was it Casey Neistat? I don't usually watch a lot of these, like, Apple product reviewers' channels because it's just like, here's a new iPhone. What's new about it? Uh, some things about software and the camera's better, usually. I've never seen anyone go, like, things that you can do on a new iPhone that you couldn't really do on old iPhones. Like, I, that's not really happened very often anymore. Um, but I think that this is cool tech. And cool tech always deserves a mention and uh, potentially a recommendation. I do not think I am not the kind of person. One, I'm not in America, so I won't. I will only see people import them and bring them down here. So I don't know if people are actually going to use them down here. Um, but also, three thousand five hundred US dollars will probably equate to nearly like six thousand when it comes to Australian pricing. When you when you do currency conversion, you have to take that tax and you do an import fee, and at that point, it's like I don't know, it's starting to get into like a luxury good at that point as well. Um, yeah, would it be worth it? No. You you should you should one hundred percent if you're gonna buy one of these, completely accept that you are an earlier adopter. And you were trying out this cool tech for the first time, um, or first stage time, because VR has been around for a while. Um, but the implementation and the, uh, the idea of what they're going for, that's new and sort of novel. It's cool. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. What you, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Here am I, losing all the health on the bonus level, because these guys fire the shots at... Just kind of the right angles. They're not going to give me a grenade launcher, are they? Because they'll bounce around corners. Here we got an exit button. Might be useful, probably because we killed most of the enemies in the level. Hey, at least they give you a health. A mega health. Very nice. And now we back out and we continue on our merry way of. Figuring out what the heck's going on. Into the sewers we go. Um, now, I, I do also think as well, uh, if you are a competing business with, and, and this is just personal opinion, I don't know, man. Like, as someone who doesn't have a VR headset, and as someone who doesn't even have an Apple product, like at all. I guess I, I used MOV files before, does that count? Someone's going to be like, uh, inadvertently I used Thunderbolt, so therefore I use an Apple invention. I'm not sure. Okay. But like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things where it's like, I very, very avoided the Apple, like, product bubble. In the sense of, like, getting into an iPhone and then sort of unloading computers and stuff like that. There's a little, there's a degree of that. A lot of people who, like, who I know, I love this, like, what is this, Doom Reddit 2? Uh, I know a lot of people- Ah, the fish! The fish are back. I know a lot of people who have iPhones and it's like, they have forgotten about things that computers do, like files, like, iPhones do files. It's all configs and stuff, like, I don't think it's healthy to abstract away from that too much. Because now people just think the app is a bucket, and it's like, how on earth? Like, the app, the, the app, the square, is not a bucket, it doesn't contain everything going on about your, your phone. There's more things going on, like it can clearly put stuff down, which is then read later on. Or, in a lot of cases, files are stored on servers that are then, you know, read from later. Like, your data is not your phone, and installing and uninstalling an app doesn't exactly, like, you know. There's a lot to it, so I, I don't think we should go full abstract and just kind of envision everything as the box. Um, but, yeah, on the flip side, it's like, I don't know, like, you know. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say like, oh, Android's way better, like, you know, different tools for different folks, but... Some people forget, like, regular computers as well. It's like, oh, dang. 
I do like me a good box conveyor belt section as well. This is still the the flesh labs as well. We're back here. Where are in the flesh labs? Conveyor belts. The flesh of of society. Got plenty of railgun shots apparently. I don't think that's gonna. Yeah, that's not gonna stop the big guy very much. There we go. Very very nice. Very, very nice. But yeah, if you're a competing uh, business, um, particularly, I think, Meta? I guess, because they don't call it Oculus anymore, they call it Meta Labs. Um, I think you should probably, like, take some notes. Uh, and ideally don't get, like, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't get a copyright infringement, that kind of stuff. But, like, take some notes. That, like, this is apparently how people get excited over VR again, is by using it out in public because VR has been continuously very inaccessible and a lot of attempts on making it you know not make people sick is certainly a great thing for people to do but at some point it's like VR still is no matter how many businesses I've seen push it also this looks we're outside ish um, uh, a lot of VR I know still hinges upon simulators and games and I don't really see people using VR, you know, ever, really. Uh, I, know, I know there's like a, you know, a, a point of like, oh, maybe, uh... Sorry, <laughs> there's a harsh word, but like, anywhere else. If I'm not at home, it's like, oh, you know, like, I gotta be in the mood to VR. Whereas I, I like, I guess, the marketing of this Apple device in the sense of like, you could wear it anywhere, except it only has a battery life of two and a half hours, but you could just... Plug it into a back, uh, to a, a battery pack and wear it around. Um, I love the lasers here, very nice. Is that a big lad? That's not a big lad. That's a big lad. Oop. There we go. Let's give him a tea bag for good measure. <laughs> Into the door, and away we go. We are now in surface infiltration. Hi, what are you shooting at? Oh, <laughs> slaves, got it. You know. Oh, dude. no, Pablo Espanol, no. How could he? Well, drop that. Grab a key and. Uh, Are we good? Was that it? Oh, we just grab the key and leave. We just grab the key and leave. We'll have to, you know, do revenge for Pablo Espanol at some point. Uh, boxes back up. Boxes back up. There we go. Yeah, this one flows a little weird, to be honest. <laughs> It's not that bad, but it's like, oh, like I just left a map to get, and I'm back in surface infiltration, by the way. It's like, oh, okay. Like, I think that's just the room across. Like, I was just too late. Storytelling. Look at this guy's head in a bin. Or a box, rather. And now we gotta gain entry to the security office. You know what that is? Right back where I was. Again. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, uh, also, uh, as of today in the US, I think, uh, well, maybe actually today, uh, Facebook, as in the Facebook, the original social media site, launched today, 20 years ago. Happy birthday, the Facebook. Uh, Facebook is, uh, I guess, uh, you know, it's a pessimistic of me to say Facebook has been sort of a. Uh, a little bit of the downfall of society, not as in uh, Facebook itself, but rather the uh, the use cases and the the sort of uh, high addiction to it. I don't think I can exactly blame Facebook for just doing what's working and also for being fine in terms. I don't know how to how to phrase it. It's like I don't like Facebook. I don't use it and personally. I really, really don't use it. Um, and so in doing that, I'm like, I hate it entirely. But I don't know, like, you know, big tech companies end up making cool bits of tech. 
Is there another medic in there, or was it just the one that we blew up? We'll see. We'll find out in a bit. I think we're clean. I think we're good. I really like the big guys this time, though. Good thing we got double damage in case I need it. Oh, actual medic. Actual medic. Grenade him! He keeps sideswiping me. How dare he. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's it. That's it. We're dropping the... We're dropping the quad on this one. I just see him spawning dudes in the back. I'm like, heck no. Get the heck out of here with that. Oh, dang it. Never mind. Never mind. Uh... Did I really? Hold on, what's my... Wow, okay. <laughs> it's been a little bit, whoops. Wow, I can't believe I didn't even save for that long. Oh my gosh, the chair keeps sinking. If you hear, I don't know if you're gonna hear like a kathunk every so often, but like that actually is the chair, just like completely dying. It's like, I don't know, I need to get it replaced. This will be the, uh, the ongoing repetitive joke. Alright, so, one, blow up these big guys at some point. Oh my gosh. And especially blow up the medics. I got no laser weapons as well, so I can't, like, wing it. There we go. <laughs> now I'm safe for a hot second. Oh man, it's a tricky, tricky encounter, ain't it? Just dudes on the top ends firing things at you. Black hole dudes. Medics. All over the shop. Uh, but uh, you know what's a site that's worse than Facebook? Twitter. Twitter is a place where I'm seeing some fun discussions about the brand new video games. What's the new game everyone's complaining about today? Well, uh, it is uh, called, and there's a reason why I, I'm talking about this in the latter half of the video, YouTube hates it when you say certain words uh, for advertiser friendliness uh, near -ish the beginning of the video. We're nearing an hour, I can say the name of the game is called The Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, or is there a... In there? I don't know. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, the brand new, hopefully, finale to the Rocksteady Batman, uh, I guess, the Arkham franchise. Um, that kind of string of games. Uh, I love the, the turret looking around and then going, wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Gotta keep going through emergency tunnels and things like that. Uh, but uh, this game is uh, currently getting absolutely swathed on by my Twitter followers. Why? Well, as someone who hasn't played the game, nor particularly has a great intention of playing the game, but as someone who liked the first game enough to play it for Christmas on stream back in 2021, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum holds a decently special place in my heart as being a kind of fun game, a pretty fun game, uh, using a lot of those uh, wonderful design principles from uh, Metroid Prime. Have, uh, have the player go back to places in a sort of meaningful way, give them enough set piece moments, enough boss fights that are actually fun and interesting, and just toy around with your mechanics over and over and build up more tools so that you can unlock new areas. Um, lots of fun stuff like that. We should probably aim the orbital gun. Just, a you know, this is shooting at ships. You can probably aim at a door. Con it. <laughs> very nice, very fun. Um, but uh, over the releases, I have a very um, what's the term? The chronological order of releases is also uh, the reduction of my enjoyment of the games. I really liked Batman Arkham Asylum. I thought Arkham City was not as good, but 
pretty fair. It had a lot of cool ideas, but it didn't quite add up in my mind. Arkham Origins was more of the same, and that's okay, but it wasn't done quite as well. But it did have an okay fight with Deathstroke at the end. I do remember that. A little bit of uh, grindy from memory. I remember it sort of taking a lot of... Oh, look at that. We're back up here. I do remember it taking just more hits than it really should have, but... Okay, you know, whatever. Arkham Knight. Uh, people loved Arkham Knight. I hate it. I didn't really like Arkham Knight. There are a lot of enemies. It's almost like they're all coming back to life. Actually, I think they're, they're just new spawn enemies. I don't think any of them are. Oh, there's, there's a medic right down there. Let's, let's keep jumping around because this is this is when the real fight starts. Right here. What do I have that's actually like good against this guy? Sip for more railgun. Oh! My speakers died. Yeah! Oh, and now they're back. Whoa! They <laughs> like lightning went out that was a fun sound I think it was just I don't know I'm having like some weird I gotta reinstall drivers on my own focus right I tell you it's been doing that occasionally like very occasionally it's just curious to have it like on recording oh my gosh uh but I did not like Arkham Knight I did I just thought Arkham Knight had uh too little focus it had too much open world um which is a uh, an original phrase um but uh, legit, like, there were so many parts where it's just like, okay, now you gotta do all these side quests and stuff. Because the... 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 What's the villain? <laughs> the scarecrow won't come out unless you have done ten of the side quests. It's like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna go back here and make sure this guy's popped. I think we're mostly good. Mostly. Is there a guy like right behind my head that he's hitting? Yes, there was. Oops, I can't aim. And we got there with two big guys over there. And a big guy over there is apparently still still revived. Um but yeah. Now there's still I I mean there's still cool things about Arkham uh Knight. But I think the most emblematic part for me is there's this whole kind of side quest chain. I think it starts off with you, like, realizing that the Riddler is behind a few things. And, uh, you, uh, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Rid... Yeah, okay. So the Riddler is behind a few things, and he's captured Catwoman. So there's this fun little side quest where you play as Catwoman a little bit, doing some puzzles, and then Batman's got to go off and then, like, solve, like, a driving puzzle. Uh, I say fun, I'm now gonna take that back a little bit, but it's certainly at least more engaging than what it eventually ends up being. Uh, they then go back and forth and sort of solve these puzzles, and by the time you've done every puzzle, you then get to fight the Riddler. The Riddler is in a giant mech suit, so he's, like, you know, he's, he's big and buff, he's in the fight. Halfway in the fight, the Riddler says, bugger off, you didn't collect all 200 and whatever trophies. And then he leaves. And he's gone. And you have to collect all 200 and something trophies to then do the exact same boss fight, but longer. And then you're done with the side quest. It is an absolute slog, and whoever, whoever, whoever decided to have that, I swear that, you know, you deserve all the criticism I'm getting here, because that is a silly idea. Everyone likes good old lasers, don't they? This guy really likes his cracked walls as well. Uh, <laughs> opens from the other side. Oh, darn. I finally had come in from the right direction. What? <laughs> oh, it has to have been from this side, but... What am I doing here? Oh, there's another... There's another great... Great, a great... My great-great-grandfather the greater great is this. <sighs> uh, at least it opens up. This reminds me of uh, that one room in Half-Life 1. Oh my gosh, Return of the King! Return of the King, everyone's favorite enemy is back! Guys, we did it, the turrets are back. 
But you know what? It's like, that's a much more fair position. They're in front of me. This, this level might actually have the only turrets in the whole, uh, I guess, level pack as well. And again, that's seven of them. That actually might have been all of them. This is a very, very curious situation we're in as well. We got there. We got there. Keep shooting them and the bits just keep flying out all over the place. Yeah, that might have been every single turret as well. Like, just there. That's all you need of it. That's all it needs to be. No more. Come on. Come on. Uh... So now we introduce- also, uh, yeah, uh, um, I didn't play Gotham Knights. I just want to add, Gotham Knights technically counts as part of this franchise. Uh, and then there's, uh, yeah, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a four-player co-op game that you can play by yourself when you play as four Justice League- no, four, uh, Suicide Squad members. Play as Harley Quinn, play as... Captain Boomerang, play as King Shark, and play as, uh, Deadshot, who misses a lot of shots because I have to be in control of him. Um, play as them having skill upgrades that sort of mostly do the same things that you've always been doing, like they're not necessary or stuff like that, and basically it's the Avengers game. One day I actually, I'm very curious, I would like to play the Avengers game on stream, I feel like it'd be a very real, like, cathartic kind of breakdown of just like how bad and wrong that game is on so many levels. Uh, this Suicide Squad game might be that, except it runs well. That might be the only twist. Hi, did you just spawn a little late? Uh, that might be the only twist, is that, uh, this Suicide Squad game runs well on PC. And, uh, yeah, at times it looks okay, and at times it apparently doesn't. Um, and there's also generally, uh, not a lot of interesting going on with the missions. It's kind of in the same way as the the Avengers game. You do missions constantly until the game decides, yeah, you can witness a story point, I guess. But then a lot of the regular missions sort of feel like the side content. Like, you, like you're you wondering when you're actually getting into it, and, uh, sort of never comes. I love this, like, little pit here. It's like I'm going into... <laughs> I'm going in the mainframe. I'm hacking in. I can guarantee people did not design Quake levels like this and... There you go, I hacked the mainframe. I was... what is that, just saying error? Very nice, very, very nice. And we broke out of containment. Disruptor, very nice. It, it, it ain't exactly disrupting that guy as hard as I wanted to. Tank somewhere? Oh my gosh. He is up there. Jeez. Alright, well we're gonna have to make our way back up there. There we go. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's got a big problem with the, the, you know, the mission design. Just like, it's not interesting. And, uh, just a bit of a slog. The, the mechanics don't really gel together, um, I've heard some people complain that there's way too much stuff happening on screen, that it's very distracting, um, also sort of awkward on controller, maybe, um, which is fun, because on Steam it actually recommends the controller over mouse and keyboard, and it's like, uh, the third person shooter, how could it not be better on a mouse and keyboard? At least they're giving disruptor ammo, but here I am not using it at all, apparently. Alright, back up to the top. And there we go, we can finally go up another ladder to transmit to system admin. Oh, I need the <laughs> data CD. Whoops. So where do we need to go? We need to go through here. I guess. Lots of lots of lasers that are just like, yeah, no, they're open now. Like, we just orbited this room before, and now it's like, oh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, where am I going? Oh, there's a lift. 
Sorry, I missed the one lift right there. Restoring Ace of Backup and transferring the spare host. This is happening without my uh, knowledge, apparently. Oh, that's the CD. There's some big guy. Just one big guy. Uh, finally, I guess a lot of people sort of complain about the... And I, I mean, I guess, sure. Some people complain about the legacy of the Batman Arkham franchise. Is that it is ending on a low. Not only is it a game that mechanically isn't exactly the Batman games, uh, I would also make the argument of, well, Arkham Knight is a game mechanically like the Batman games. Like, Arkham Knight really forgets why Arkham uh, Asylum is a good game. And, uh, I, you know, I'm not saying you have to make the same game again and again and again. Like, obviously, you know, if you want to spice it up and it doesn't work, sure. But they're not spicing it up in a way that really makes sense. Like, adding a tank Sort of makes sense. Um, making it sort of just forced on you, like you can't do some missions unless the tank itself is the one doing certain kinds of damage or whatever. That's a bit weird. Let's grab a CD, shall we? Oh. I appear to be trapped in. If only there was a... Some way to get... Oh, I guess that's how you get out, sure. Oh, it's the admin! Get off my Minecraft server. Everyone knows a guy who's like that. Whoop. Whoop. Well, that's a disruptor for you. It does okay, to be honest, but... He's a bit mean with the uh, extra enemy spawns, but... He's not too mean with his health. It's pretty okay. Take out these last few dudes. Oh, oh. Oh, this is gonna get awkward. We're gonna have to save scum a little bit. Oh. It's because this guy's like chilling with his shield and everything. It's like, how do you. Bro, I just wanted to take him out. I just. Ugh. <laughs> Grab some health. Ah, oh, yes. All gone in an instant. Probably make more sense if I use the quad damage. I mean, like, what else is gonna kill me? There's one more enemy left in the whole thing, I think. The game even saves right there. It knows. The only thing is, I think the backtracking is still a little bit insane. I'm gonna back up. Oh, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty okay. Push button, upload the data. We're done, skis. <laughs> we did it. Very nice. Give me a cool animation of uploading data. What does it look like? Very nice. Very, very nice. That's how Starlink works. Have you ever seen a Starlink satellite in action? That's what it looks like. To the next one! Ruined Earth. That's right, us rescuing the moon was not good enough. The computer keeps updating without my consent, apparently. Uh, okay, what's that? There's no secret levels in this one. Uh, so we lost contact with the Una MG3, and also we need to find the missing marines, and again, a data disk. Every, uh, very nice. I love this one, because again, we got dark tunnels, and it's a very different one, because it's like, uh, it's, it's Earth, I guess. Echoes of the past, if you will. If anything, it's actually very Quake 1 for the machine. Like... <laughs> uh, is this... Yeah, okay, I was like, is this a secret up here? Or? It is. One armor shot. What is this, Sir Sam? That kind of generosity. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We even got our favorite enemies chilling all around. All these mutants. A little bit. Oh my gosh, that goes all my health again. A little weird with just a shotgun. I'm not used to that. But uh, I love the 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 ambience and the atmosphere going on. You can hear them, but you just can't quite see them. They're somewhere. They're chilling. Uh, but yeah. Um, 
mild spoilers, but uh, yeah, Justice League kill the, sorry, Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, uh, well, that is accurate, and some people don't really like the goodbye these characters get, even though, eh, I guess we're dealing with multiverses and whatever, you know, there's, there's gonna be alternate versions of all these characters, maybe we can save them, but, uh, they sort of die in a bit of an unglamorous way, um, uh, this also being Kevin Conroy's, uh, final, uh, that's weird. His final performance as Batman, um, maybe, I think. Getting stuck on geometry, and so did here apparently. Look at me, I'm four ki four kills in. I've nearly lost all my health. At least that gave me an adrenaline right off the bat. Cool. Yeah, I really don't have any alternative though. I'm just gonna have to wing it. Oh. And into another map right off the bat. Why not, you know? We are in ruined earth. I guess that's sort of what we were doing. Your helmet cam shows multiple dead marines try to find survivors. Is that a survivor? But I, I love this location. It's just like, ah, oh, mwah, mwah. Very nice. Can we pick some off from a distance? Um, I don't... From what I've seen, not all the writing is, like, bad. But, uh, I think a lot of people on my Twitter timeline especially love attributing it to the localizers. Uh, which is a, an ongoing topic of controversy, uh, to which I think I've sort of said my piece a little bit, which is localizers should be accurate, and that's it. The goal is to, you know, convey the, uh original translation's intention and style as best as you can. And even though, yes, it's a different language, they put the verbs at the end of sentences. It's obviously not the same. I get that. But also, one, this is an American game. And why are we dealing with the exact same people who localize games? I'm not quite sure. But, uh, they do. And, uh, there's like a degree of, uh, modern... Mm, what's the term? Cultural reference, I, I guess I'll use there. Which is like, why? I'm worried that like, either someone knows something, like, is there a conspiracy to just keep them in the job? Maybe. Uh, is there, I love these screws or these drills. Get yourself wedged in there. Best idea. Um, uh, I, like this, I don't know, there's a, there's a lot to it. Uh, the poster child of the uh, localizations or the whatever outsourcing that people no one asked for is uh, a company called Sweet Baby Inc. If you've never heard of Sweet Baby, look up their website and realize how many games they've somehow worked on. Out of nowhere. If you've never heard of this company, but you know at least five games they've worked on, you'll be like, huh? What's going on here? And I don't know. And also, I'm not going to say they've done a terrible job on, ev on everything because the one, like, you know. I can, I can only judge from the things that I know of, and uh, I have not really played uh, many of the games. But uh, I can definitely say it is a little bit strange to have a company, like a, a Canadian company nonetheless, I think they're Canadian, aren't they Canadian? No, I'm Canadians, I tell ya. Um, but like, <laughs> me being like, knock off England, d darn knock off Americans, it's just like, yeah. Well, we're back to the past. Hi, how are you doing? There's a guy a double shotty up here. Very nice. Can I like scooch in there? I see the. I didn't even use my uh, my um, energizer bunny, my adrenaline. There's probably a way to get it right from here. Yeah, you could probably swim in there. <laughs> Might actually be one of the seven secrets. Seven secrets of the West. If you can somehow scooch in there and uh, stuff it. Um, but yeah, I I don't want to like. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to insinuate like a ton about Sweet Baby because it's like you know, in theory, they could do a, a good job or a better job. But uh, a lot of people attribute to just you know the 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 brand name according to them is like uh, it was like Kryptonite. Oh. <laughs> 
See what I did there? Um, just, you know, they see the name and they go, ugh. Uh, and generally, the localizer uh, argument is like that to them. Are their concerns legitimate? Uh, certainly. Does that necessarily mean that all games should be catered towards their needs? No. But also, uh, if I change the person who I am apparently talking about, the same principle should still hold. Of we shouldn't be making work that exactly like caters. This is artistic work. Make the thing that you think tells the best story. And if you think it's a little bit, you know, risque, who cares? You're making a fun story. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of like, just just go for it. Just, just go for it. The only thing you should sort of cater to is ratings board because you can't get around that. Unless you want to just start releasing stuff unrated all the time. But uh, governments aren't going to let you forever. For example, Hotline Miami 2. I, 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 I do hate that, like, in, at the end of the day, I can't buy Hotline Miami 2 unless I apparently live outside the country. But you know what? It ain't the devs' fault. Like, I, I, I ain't got no, you know, qualms with they butchered the story, because they didn't. I, I, I know exactly who to blame. I love this. I love the, the environment here. I would... Reminder, the, make that the screenshot. Um... But yeah, like, I I personally feel like, yeah, you know, like, we shouldn't cater anything to anyone. Be a, be a creator. Make stuff. I wish I could Goomba stomped him and that would have worked. Is that a... Oh. It's just a vent. Hearing noises out of the vent. Uh... I think I gotta hit that lever at the far distance. Oh, <laughs> he did it again. They just come out of nowhere, don't they? Alright, I love this bit as well. Like a bit of like fun little platforming. I know, right? Platforming in my Quake 2? What? So you jump over to this one and then you're like, okay, well now I can drop down. Oh, hi there. <laughs> um, but yeah, in, in general, like, I don't know why we don't just treat it real simple. And I, like, the reason why I say like, is there a conspiracy of why they're on everyone's payroll? Because legit, like, why on earth are so many studios apparently not capable enough to just write the story on their own? You don't need cultural significant writing or whatever. You don't need meme writing. Just make a cool story. There's a lot of games out there where it's like they overthink. Like, it's not even like they don't have the right creative vision, but that it goes through too many hands because it has to as part of the dev process. And then it's like, oh, look at that. It's just completely watered down by the time, you know, Chinese Whispers gets around to the, to the, <laughs> to the end game, and it's just, ugh. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of projects where it's just like, just, just go with your gut, go, go a lot quicker, cut out a lot of work, I know again. Uh, cut out a lot of that, you know, a lot of the crap, because you don't need it. And, uh, yeah, no, these games could be fairly better. I'm not going to say so much better, but they could be fairly better, and honestly come out quicker sooner with a less of a less of a budget like isn't that what we should be doing cutting the cost in the places that aren't necessary these games again I, I, I keep saying it, it's like these games are too expensive there really needs to be something that changes and I think hey you know let's start off with how many steps does it go through in order to just have a story most of the worst part as well is that like how many writers are on, like, movies and stuff? Certainly quite a few, but not, like, a crazy ton. Um, video games are definitely longer, but they have gameplay. And, uh, ultimately you can, you know, tone down the, I guess, the... I'm not gonna say tone down the quality, but, like, you can... Players will be more distracted by having more stuff going on. So just keep it lean and dense, and, you know, the flaws don't come through as much. Um, also someone- oh, so hi there. I think this is actually a brand new- oh wait, we've already seen this guy, haven't we? Yeah, we've already seen this guy. This guy in his nail gun. Very awkward scenario though. Lots of guys are just hit-scanning you and it's like, yeah, I can't really duck out of this one. Oh, there goes his head. No, my head, I needed it. 
I don't know. I, I'm probably rambling and someone's gonna say, oh, you've never developed a game, you don't know what's going on. True, but like, I know project management, at least from all the project management things I have, and a game shouldn't really sway from the success cases of that. Like, if we're really gonna boil down to like, oh, you know, I've never played, I've never made, you know, a game that's like, oh, I've never made a Batman game that's licensed in the year 2024, like, also, this game went through so many delays, I'm pretty sure they started development work around when the movie came out, like the first one. They got lucky that there was another movie. <laughs> right, or two movies, I guess. Did people forget about uh, the Birds of Prey movie? Most people probably did. I like this backtracking going on here, because it's just like... This flows really nicely, and then also, like... It's curious, you keep going around all these, like, weird rooms, you keep seeing snippets of what could be in the future. You know, like a weapon over there, or... <sighs> oh, that's fun hearing a ton of that. Um... But yeah, like, I mean, ultimately... You know, like, I... Uh, what I want, at the end of the day, is games to be really good. Oh, did I mention as well, by the way? Uh, spoilers for the end of the Suicide Squad game. Um... The, the villain is Brainiac, they make that clear in the trailers and stuff. Um, Brainiac is, uh, one of multiple different universes of Brainiacs. Uh, which I, is natural, his character always does that, I guess. Um, you gotta kill 13 of them. Battle pass time, this is a games as a service game. They pulled the bait and switch, it is, uh... They didn't do a battle pass with the Avengers game, listen, I'm, I'm, at, at least they just expected it to just pad out. But they didn't, like, get people to spend on, uh... Well, maybe they did, actually, and I just played it well after the fact when they removed it all. Oh, no. Um... But, uh, but... Isn't that fun as well? I play a game two years after release, and it's so transformed. It's so different. That every single thing I hear is just like, eh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on there. I do like me a fun lift, and a loading screen at the end as well. You have entered the belly of the beast. Now shut down those drills! Bit of a bit of a painful fight. Lots of lasers. Well, nail dudes. And the ultimate nail dude himself. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no pot shots. Push but Oh, I need the data CD. Well, you know where we're gonna end up, eventually. Hi there. Oh, jeez. Trip him over. So the Strog Mining Intake. This is a little fun map. It's got this, like, fun warehouse vibe to it. Lots of just like ramps and slopes everywhere, and laser guys, which, hey, you know, they don't use them too much. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, with all my, you know, every every time I complain or criticize something, and somewhat, you know, it's a little overkill. Hi. Oh, is that the freaking, like, crab? He's just like crawling, he is. He's crawling on the ceiling there. We gotta press all the terminals, or else, uh, thing won't work. I think there's a guy on the ground. But I love how it's got this, like, catwalk going all over the place. And you've got these enemies going all over. But you're definitely, like, alerting guides below you. So they're going to come in, like, a very weird angle. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, ultimately what I want is just, like, games that I actually would, like, pay for and enjoy. I know there's probably devs that do that all the time. And it's just kind of, like, overshadowed by very kind of slug releases that have crazy... You know, marketing budgets. I never hear of the ones that I'd actually been interested in, and uh, it's like, ah, oh, you know, what does this do? This turns me off from buying new games, and I just play Quick Two again. Is it the end of the world? No, because hey, it's it's a video game, and here I am, you know, with a plethora of good games. I still have plenty of things to witness and enjoy before I kick the bucket. But uh, also a railgun, very nice. There are a lot of railguns in. <laughs> these missions, have you noticed? Big guy up the top there. Um, but ultimately, it's like, hey, you know, like, I really liked Arkham Asylum, and for a game that 
keeps advertising itself as from the studio that brought you Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Ugh. How many of those people, like, are in charge of the decisions? How many of those people, like, not the co-founders, they left in 2022. Uh, not the head writer, by the way. Um, I don't know how many of the designers were still around. Not saying they, you know, still have to be part of the same studio, but, you know, like, you, you can't just keep saying from the studio that brought you this, because while technically true, it's like, not, um, accurate, I guess? I should probably start popping off these guys, because you know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to keep turning every time I hit them. I know you can overkill them with any weapon, so I'm like, oh, hi there. Very dead. Oop. One day I'll up. Oh. oh, get him! Get him! Get the get the spawning guy. Hate him. But yeah, like ultimately, like I don't want my games to be bad, and uh, you know, I I had a, a unique kind of conversation with a with a lad who was very dedicated about a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games. Uh, Stay, stay strong, my man, but, uh, oh boy, let me, let me tell you about Sonic the Hedgehog one day. But, like, I mean, there's an interesting point to be made of, even if you haven't played a game, I think it is fair to praise and criticize some mechanics and things that you know of. Um, can you truly know? Not really. But knowing enough that it would convince you to buy or not buy the game is certainly a very important part that, like, people should really, like, care about that. Like. I mean, like, and, and, and I think people should make it kind of clear, like, which camp they're in, in terms of, like, hey, you know, have you actually played the game? But, like, I, I think I see the people criticize that in terms of, like, uh, Persona fans, for example, which, by the way, Persona 3 Reload came out, and I hear it's good. One day I'll play Persona, I guess. But at least I own up to not having played it. I also own up to not knowing a single thing about Persona 2, Persona 2, or Persona 1. But one day, I will play them. And perhaps just a Shin Megami Tensei game. Can I just say I played Tokyo Mirage Sessions and call it a day? That's right, it's the best, it's the best Shin Megami Tensei game. Heck yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. But, um... Yeah, like... The... Like... I feel like there is a degree of, like, people shut down conversations because of that. Like, your opinion is invalid. It's like, you might still be right. You may still be right. Are you necessarily right? I don't know. Also, I don't, like, some people would be like, oh, I don't trust your opinion because you haven't played the game. Also, hi there. Enemies just come out of nowhere. Around my backside. This is going to be kind of awkward because he's still, like, chilling around the side there. Probably spawning some dudes. Yeah, he's still spawning dudes. And he's spawning laser dudes as well. Come on. Come on. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. Man, that's that's a very... That's probably one of the most awkward, like, enemy spawns I've ever seen in this though. And, uh, we're making sure. We're making sure. I'm not... I'm not taking any chances. Close during drilling. Maybe they shouldn't be drilling. Drill int, please. Uh, I think that means that I need to press one more panel somewhere. Fortunately, I think this will guide me towards it. But it is a bit of a maze, this area, ain't it? Which one did I miss? How far back are we going? We're going very far back. Oh my gosh. That's right, I missed this one. Ouch. Oh. Oh, I'm j oh, dodge, dodge. Eh. Oh. Broke my legs, now I gotta run back up again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... I don't know, I, I feel like a lot of people, I mean... A lot of people should have an opinion. But also, like, don't feel like you have to defend things just because, like, you like something that someone doesn't, or vice versa. It's just like, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna fight you over Sonic the Hedgehog being a very average franchise in my mind. Yes, I have played multiple Sonic the Hedgehog games, and yes, my opinion has changed over time. Why is it so dark around? What's going on here? Yeah. 
Um, yes, I have changed my opinion. I don't know. I don't like Sonic Adventure 1 anywhere near as much as I might have said I did 10 years ago. Um, I have I have standards, and my standards keep changing. But, uh, but like, I don't know. Like, some people get very, like, antagonistic about that kind of stuff. And it's just like, I don't know. At the end of the day, like, you can like and not like the games, you know, whatever. Don't feel offended or whatever if... I just come around and say, eh, you know, I don't really like this, and I haven't even bought the game, but, like, that, like, knowing about that sort of drives me away from buying it, you know, you can respect that, and in the same way as I may like some things that are just pure drivel, like, I really like my F&B games, because I think there's something charming about an actor pretending, uh, or, <laughs> an actor pretending, like, like, they don't do it all right, but, like, uh, as in... You know, an actor's performance is like, yeah, and he's also on camera, and he's kind of have to ham it up for a certain, you know, a certain look or whatever. I like that. I think there's something novel about, like, certain things. Um, older games always have this kind of, like, janky, we gotta do what we just think is okay kind of design. And I feel like that's, you know, fun and commendable. Also, hi there. Oh, can we, can we get it? Hey. Very nice. That's a very fun spot there. Too bad I've still got my my things in there, but okay. Is there a sort of just snakes around, don't it? Because we're still technically on Earth. Oh. I think they wanted me to use the laser gun and set them to work. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I should also, uh, nah, I'll do some closing thoughts when I'm done with the whole thing. Alright, now we can actually start doing some of this. It's just a guy with a shield, it's just like, uh, no hope. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, do I, do I have faith in the video game franchise? No, I expect the video game franchise to properly, like, crash. Collapse entirely, no, because indie games will forever be indie games. The tools of entry are lower, and if devs can, you know, if, if Power World can exist under such a shoestring budget and make a ton of money back, I think there's hope. I think there's definitely chances that people can make the kinds of games that people really, really want, even if they're a little jank, you know. If people can set the expectations right and grow from their experiences and just start from scratch, you don't need to be part of, like, big franchises or big AAA stuff and want to get your footing. Just, you know, have the... <laughs> the best, the best, you know, finger on the, the pulse of the, the market, and you'll do okay. Oh, look, grenade launcher. Uh, sweet baby, you know, I, I, I don't want, you know, their name to be permanently scarred as making games that sort of led to the downfall of, I'd uh, say making, working on games that did lead to the downfall of society, and <laughs> what's the, what's the, 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 the thing? The drills have retracted, you can access your walls. What's the thing that, like, I see some people say, like, was it the West has fallen? Like, what is this, man? It's probably true in some, some regard. Let's drop a double. We're probably gonna need to take out a couple of big dudes. There we go. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. But I love how we're back here, and it's just like, it was just a massive drill here, and now it's like, oh no, it's all done. Well, that's the best I can do. That's, uh, that's a lot of the enemies. Also, oh, core hole. So now, we need to figure out where to go. I think, yeah, pretty much just all the way, all the way back. Hi there. Man, they really like this enemy on this, uh, on this one, don't they? Got a grenade launcher. Will will he be subject to getting hit by the grenade launcher? Apparently, a little bit. Ouch! I hate a grenade. I hate a grenade. I always hate it. Uh, so now we got this hole here. I think there was a drill. Yeah, there was a drill right there. There we go. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, 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 ultimately, I hope 
we get good games and if a game is very average because the suicide squad game is certainly receiving the very average ratings um that's not you know well it's, it's not the end of the world in terms of like well you know like games are forever bad because you know maybe they're good uh critic scores are not necessarily the thing you should trust i think just trust your gut if you think games are sort of average then yeah no they kind of are and if you think they're actually good then you know don't let me get you down um also I'm not gonna say games are forever perfect but again there's a plethora of great games i've been working my way through chrono cross and at some point it kind of clicked i'm actually kind of liking it a, a bit more um but it also uh doesn't fully make sense to me and i don't know if it's actually fully clicked yet i also feel like i'm a lot of the way through the game like I've sort of been granted a uh, bit of a quest line to pretty much right the wrongs. I know the villain. I know how to stop him. It's just uh, doing it. His cheeky breaky secret. What a weird secret. What a weird map. May I just add? Like, it's just... It goes with a bunch of locations, a bunch of directions. Uh, let's use a hyper blast on him. They're a bit conservative with the ammo on this one, aren't they? As well. Lots of big dudes. A lot of big dudes. Me when I don't get BFG. Oh, you know. You're not giving me all the weapons I need. That's just me. There we go, we're mostly done with this level, so that's all good. Another super shoddy. What is a soup or shoddy? Also, where are we going now? That's right, the way of the marine. Oh look, a BFG. More bodies, you are getting closer, the disc must be nearby, and we got a super tank! Well, okay, I guess they, they really want me to just, you know going ham here. The Hyper Blaster does the job. But sure, you know, I accept the tank. I still love the, the health bars. It's just like, I don't know, at some point these are just regular enemies. They're sort of doing most of what they've already done. But I like how, you know, they all get a bit of a victory round. So really give me the, uh, the cells. No shield, by the way. You notice how none of these levels will ever give you the, um, the, uh, the energy shield. It's a bit too strong. Oh, hi there. How you doing? I love this pathway. I actually wonder if this, um, this reminds me of, uh, there's a, one of the Quake 1, um, like, Dimension of the Machine Worlds. And it was like this long like hallway. Oh, check it out! The disc! Oh, that's a good sound. Ah! The, the egg carrier! We've sort of already fought one of these. It just spawns the flyers. I like how every single one of these is hitting. Like. The lag isn't actually throwing me off because he's such a wide target. Oh, hi, hi there, again. Oh. Need the save pausing going on in there. Oh, yeah. Now I have the disc. I'll find a way to upload its data. There we go. So we are well we're sorted through that. Now we've got to keep keep going on, keep going on through these wonderful tunnels. Have some laser boys. Oh boy, that's a... <laughs> I don't know what they want me to do here, just, just machine gun them from all from the distance. That's a bit annoying. Oh, hi there. Did you want to fight a tank as well? Sure. The Strog Mega Tank. Let's get him with a double. Uh, I don't exactly have anything better, so... Nice and easy. Let's see if I can get this guy in the same process. 
Meanwhile, his chaps in the back, still un unfazed. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. I feel like I've spoken about the localization topic a fair bit. It's sort of the, the, the buzzword on my Twitter timeline. Uh, some people get very, very defensive about it, and it's partially because, uh, you know, the, the whole scenario is a bit, um, what's the term? Precarious right now, especially with the whole AI taking over people's jobs kind of thing. It's like, oh, it could happen at any day. It could happen to you. It could happen to me. It'll probably happen to me at some point as well. Will people care about an AI entertainer who's not Neurochan? That is a question. Uh, I can certainly say whatever the, um, the, like, there was one... I think I mentioned a few weeks ago about like just digitally twinning yourself and it's like why on earth would I want to just like pretend that like have like a fake version of me that's just trained on the stuff I say but isn't actually like saying anything I would say but haven't said you know what I mean like like I don't know I don't want that that's not that's not showbiz that's not entertainment through the corridor we have now Reach the Strog Mines again, the mining intake. Now reach the bridge and upload the data from the main computer. That is a fun sound. I love this walkway, it's just like, oh. Oh, hi there. Oh, and they put a shield around the computer just to stop you from dealing with it. Have I got anything? Oh my gosh, the power shield was in this the whole time. My day is saved. Or was it? Now is it enabled though? Yeah, now it's enabled. I'm gonna use it for like two seconds because you know exactly what the world's done the moment I touch that button. Eventually. Unfortunately, the shield is powered by their life force. Now we're good. Hooray! Push the button. We did it! Woo! That was a fun third world. Uh, there is a question mark in there. Is that... Did I miss... I didn't miss a secret level, did I? No. Oh, there was a secret level. Oh, there was a secret level. Okay, well, we're gonna have to... Oh. How many quick saves do I have back? Just so I can, like, show it. Uh, stuff it. You you folks are gonna have to play the game for yourself. <laughs> to the darkest death. I, I can't believe there were five secret levels. I wrote down four. I wrote down specifically that wasn't in that world, and then there was one in that world. Completely distraught. Oh well. And there's one in this world as well. All right. How about end of the stream? I'll try and go back for it. Uh, too deep. Too deep. Infiltrate the excavation site and gather seismic readings. I love the looks of this. It reminds me of, um, uh, like, I, I remember, like, some cave segment from Borderlands. I mean, it's all, like, purple and stuff. Oh, we got, like, such a strong visual vibe going on. And I just love that, like, it's so visually distinct from, like, anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so visually distinct from anything Quake 2 as well. And yet it's like, eh, it kind of works. We gotta determine the fate of the Badger Squad. But I love how just like, this is not at all Quake 2 level design. This is them doing their own funky thing that kind of works. Bit of platforming. The red ground is like, ah, oh, you know, I don't need to question where I'm looking at on a cliff. It's like, ah, oh, it just feels natural. It's so good. I can see the weird edge and the geometry there. We've got these fun lights that glow. Very, very nice. Lots of fun bits all over though, I'll tell ya. I've really enjoyed this, like, um, dimension of the machine though, I'll tell you that. I think it's just like, again, you know, these guys know, like, classic game design. And somewhat that was reflected in Wolfenstein The New Order. Um, cause these are, I assume? Uh, how many of these people are still the same people? They're passionate level designers, I'll tell you that. Um, like, they just have an idea and they're just like, yeah, I could write this. 
and do things. It's great. Like, I, I, I'm a big sucker for volcanoes. They know it. And they said, yeah, you know what? We're gonna go, like, I mean, it's not quite a volcano, but it's like, it's a mine level. It's good enough. Wonder will love it. And he does. And I didn't even say it was my favorite as well. <laughs> it's like we're 15 enemies into a 140 enemy world. You're gonna tell me. Ah, yes. Love it already. 140 enemy like, level. We'll get quicker as we stop needing the regular shoddy. But again, I just love that like visually. It's so different from everything else. It's great. The only thing I guess I wish for is like maybe, you know, some new music. They didn't do it with uh, Quake as well. And I'm like, you know, it would be a great opportunity to throw in something new. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, well, we got shotgun and grenade. It's weak source. Hold on. Riding on the technical, apparently. But oh boy, I love me my lava. I see. Ooh, that'd be a curious mega health to get if I can figure it out later. Here we go. Whoop. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I've mentioned uh, I'm still retro achievement deving uh, SingStar. The uh, the problems uh, keep piling up. Uh, I had to deal with uh, what is referred to as an index pointer. Uh, basically, what it is is that uh, you have uh, a um, like a pointer to an array or something. And somewhere is an index to it. Like somewhere, uh, you know, you want to access the third item or something. And you, and you only know you want to access the third item because there's a value of two somewhere. Uh, the zero index, so zero would be the first item, one is the second and so on. Um, now, under other programming languages and stuff like that, you would just go, okay, like read that value and then, you know, get the beginning of the array and then add that value times however large the items are. So if it's just like straight pointers, you just do like plus four or times four times, you know, or plus four times the off the index that you're looking for. Simple enough. Uh, but the problem with the retro achievement logic is that there is not enough room to provide that complexity. When you access or when you want to do a, a thing, you really only get the opportunity to read from one address or your chaining addresses. But you can't keep in memory the value of something and then, you know, like, use that to influence what you then read from afterwards. Which means you cannot have uh, a, uh, I guess, a pointer and then figure out, like, oh, you know, I want to access the nth element from that. Now, you can do that if the array was static. Because, technically, the offset is done in logic. You don't need to, like, read something and then perform an offset calculation. You can just do that in memory already. Like, you literally go, okay, well, if the array is at, say, you know, address 3000, um, you just, you know, say, okay, well, read the, the, like, the index value, and then just add 3000 onto that address. Uh, or, or onto that offset. And then you're good. That's basically it. But the problem is when you don't know where the the index is, so you've got to dereference the thing to get that, and then you don't know where the array is, so you've got to dereference the thing to get that. That's when the pain comes in. Um, this is a very technical programming. Um, well, it's not, it's not like crazy technical, but it is like, you know, it's all programming. It's just like, yeah, you know, I completely get it being a very tricky thing. Uh, it's also something that not a lot of games, uh, well, a lot of games sort of, you know, have it, I guess. Especially newer ones. The, the newer the game, the more like... I keep swapping to that, thinking that it's the um, shotgun, the super shoddy. It's not the super shoddy. There's only one super shoddy, and I'm running low on ammo. But it is also the sixth world, but also, I guess... <laughs> aren't they all meant to be the same difficulty? There we go. His life force was powering the lift. Good thing I killed him. Push button, and uh, the mining... Poison beam is active. I love this as well. <laughs> it just keeps c 
ka-plowing in the very dead. Oh, hi there. So you gotta sneak past it, or duck. I think ducking works here. Is he gonna get hit by it? No, oh, he's too short. Darn. He's too short. This looks like a wonderful hole, doesn't it? Maybe we'll, we'll, this will mean something later. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a bit painful. Uh, now, what's the solution? Well, right now it is handle all the use cases simultaneously, which means your achievement logic can't get too complex. Uh, but it does mean, in my case, uh, what it was was uh, there's a playlist of song. Oh, hi there. It's been a while since I've seen one of you, hasn't it? Um, there's a playlist of songs, you might be able to choose them in the career mode, and, uh, they occupy, uh, values in an array, so... And, uh, since everything's under a pointer, the location of that array is known by two pointer dereferences, I believe. If it's two, if it's not two, it's one. Um, but, uh, certainly pointer dereference. Uh, and then on top of that, yeah, you only know the offset by another pointer dereference, so... According to this one bit where the only way that you know... That you need to- oh, 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 I love this as well. They start running across us. <laughs> they keep trying as well. They keep- they all try. Every single one of them tries to run across us. <laughs> Come on, last guy. There you go. Very nice. I love it. I love it. Um, so, yeah, so in code, I'm basically checking all four, basically going, if, oh, hi there, if, uh, this value is zero, and then the location of the offset is the right thing, this, and then under probably an alt group, uh, if the index is one, and then the location is, you know, the, the, the value at the proper offset again, is incre uh, increase, then, yeah, you know, that's what I'm doing. Uh, it is painful, apparently, for the sets where they have to deal with 16 things. Um, you're technically allowed an infinite number of this kind of stuff. Oh. Well, I couldn't turn it off right away, but I could turn it off sort of soonish. Also, hi there, Railgunner, who's just casually chilling back up there. How you doing? That was where I was. How dare you spawn up there. It's such a fun level, though. There's lots of just things going on here. Like, I, I'm I'm shocked that one, you know, they got to do this twice. I actually, I, oh, I, I also take it back a little bit of, like, I remember when I started, I was like, mm, I don't think it's as good as Quake 1, because it's like, it's pretty on par. Like, the parts that I thought would annoy me didn't actually annoy me as much. Except for me not finding a secret level. That's that's just a cardinal sin. I love we got railgun as well. It's just like, ah oh, yes, you know. The four weapons. Push button, the laser deactivated. Now we can uh, get annihilated by this guy behind us. Um yeah, no, the set's coming along. Uh I had this one bit as well, where I noticed the score, like the player score, moved to another address. Both were static, like, locations pointing to the score, but the original one just was set to null. And then I had no idea why that was the case. I had no idea what was different. The function set right to it are different, like, it's not like, if this, then that. It's like, no, it's like a completely different function. I don't know what's going on. I must have triggered something. So, uh... Part of me wants to figure it out, part of me wants to just concede and try to check both. Which can work. Um, but yeah, it depends on really how long I want to spend on SingStar. Um, but it's not fun to reverse engineer. It's actually a very painful one to reverse engineer. Check this out as well if you go through here. Ooh. Now we gotta escape through the cooler system. I love these like pistons going up and down. Because they keep swapping all over. And they have like different frequencies. We do have a chain gun. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very good fun. 
Oh, there's a button here. There we go. Nice thick buttons. Juicy thick buttons. Uh, I guess we're doing the chain gun again. And you can cop it, and you can cop it. <laughs> and you can probably cop it. Oh, oh, he was gonna get me with a the bounce there. You see that? Oh. And into the hole. Where we can then go through a tunnel. After a little tiny crack. Hop down a bit. A bit more. I love the little, like, leaves and stuff as well. I love this kind of, like, area here. This whole place is such a vibe. I would, like, sleep here. It'd be nice and, like, warm and cozy, and there's no, like, ants. Oh, hi there. <laughs> there is this guy, though. And I've... Ooh, I don't have a quad. I don't have a quad. We're gonna have to swing it from a distance. It's not too bad, but... Oh, I got the chain gun again. I really do like giving me chain gun ammo. It's in bullets. Oops. There we go. So now the security gate is disabled. Uh, let me just remind myself where the secrets were. Oh my gosh, my hands are so sweaty. I'll never be able to know where the secrets is. The secrets. It's in the next level. Yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely know this one off the top of my head. <laughs> Lindo looks at the, the, the Steam Guide to know where the secret levels are. Oh, we have fallen into a hole. Further descending, we are too greedy. Explore the ancient temple and escape. I love this, man. The, oh. We're now toying up with like, what, what vibe do I go with? Opens elsewhere, opens elsewhere. Ancient evil whispers to you. Bit of a fleshy, fleshy sound. Oh, okay. <laughs> it opened up right when I least expected it. Uh, but yeah, no, we'll see. We'll see how long uh, it takes until I can get SingStar out. I'm not going to promise anything, and I'm also probably going to want some people to QA test it because I don't trust myself on that one. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like, yeah, uh, pointers all over the shop. I have not really worked with pointers. The best I can say as well, you know, I've identified what kind of works, and we'll just go with that. I'm still worried. I've got my score mapped to a um. Is that a Quake One sound? That was a, that was a quick one sound, was it not? In fact, this is a very like it's not gothic, but like what is this? I said Borderlands earlier. I should probably take that back. But uh, I don't know. I love the aesthetic here. I love it. Just temples. Temples are cool. Every game should have temples. The three temples and the temple, temple, temple. Chuck some grenades. Chuck them. Eh. Eh. There we go. Very nice. Um. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I've also sort of signed up to doing. Um, I know Retro Treatments is doing a. Uh, uh, PC Engine uh, Game Jam, so I'm gonna try and do Vestil. Uh, I have Vestil music as my as uh, my intermission music uh, in some places. You might have spotted it, or you might not have, because uh, who knows Vestil? Um, I only found out about it from uh, the Now in the 90s episode, which mentioned it uh, with a hidden jam alert. And, oh, I missed it. But uh, all I know is it's a uh, it's a very curious. Uh, sort of multi-genre game. It's a strategy game that then becomes a top-down kind of action shooter. I love this architecture as well, because it's just like... We're in that fun, like, it's kind of abstract... Oh, wait, hold on. That looks curious. Oh, how do I do this without, like, breaking my legs? Uh, I'm probably gonna have to break my legs no matter where I go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break my legs. Okay. Sorry, legs. Oh. 
Listen, I'm not gonna miss this secret level for nothing. This is a very, uh... <laughs> Doesn't this remind you of uh, another thing? We got the music back. We need the blue key from somewhere. This is the turbine. We got 51 enemies to kill. Let's have a crack at it. They're really coming at you. Me has has troubles with the uh, the world. Also, me misses the bonus level. That's that's uh, exactly my problem. Oh, I think I get caught on just then. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah. I, I, from from what a person has said, the PC Engine usually has much simpler games, like way easier. Because it's like it's it's a very weird console. The the, uh, the PC Engine, uh, otherwise known as the TurboGrafx-16. Um, but it's a it's a very curious console because it comes from that like. That one that was a bit embarrassing. Oh, but that was a while ago. Done. Oh, I guess I'll have to talk for longer. Um, but it's a curious console because it's like, well, it came out like before the SNES. So it's kind of like a Mega Drive competitor. A Genesis competitor, sorry. Here I am calling it the PC Engine, but. It's a bit of a funny name knowing that like PCs are like a completely different term over here than it was over there. But, uh, but it's a curious console because Sega, like, I feel like has lasted a lot more because of their incredibly, like, strong brand recognition from the, um, particularly, I feel like, around their, like, Dreamcast era was when they were just running, like, full force with, like, great IPs. But I feel like even the Mega Drive had so many great, like, games. Like, things like Rise Star and, and uh, Vector Man and uh, Comic Zone and uh, Kid Chameleon and uh, I'm listening to a lot of games by the same devs, aren't I? But, uh, but it was like, there were a lot of really, really great games. The Saturn, uh, but, you know, if there's one thing... These consoles have had a lot of original titles. Um, and somewhat, you know, genre-defining titles. Like Night Trap. <laughs> Uh, but, like, yeah, the Turbo Graphics, uh, it's got Box Adventure. But, like, I, I don't know, I don't think it's got as near, like, as strong a brand identity as the other consoles. And that is probably why it didn't do too well. Because it didn't have the exclusives that it really needed. We live in this weird era where, uh, um, also that was a fairly straightforward secret level, but sure. The trial is complete. I guess we can work our way back up here, grab some backpack and that kind of stuff, and make our way onwards. Here we go. We can now continue on through the caves of cavedom. Oh, I can railgun these guys, can't I? So far away, I didn't even realize I was there. So now we have gained entry into the lower chambers. I guess we just we just continue making do. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how this deal goes. I'm not a strategy guy. So the nice thing about making achievements is you don't have to be good at the game. You can kind of save scum to make the achievements. Uh, the question then comes from gauging how player skills really are. Obviously, I feel like if you if you know the game ahead of time, it's a lot easier for you to like know where you need to make the achievements, and somewhat you can plot all that stuff out and sort of make them as you go. Whereas for me, it's like, yeah, it's a bit of discovery. Because I don't know a thing about Vestile. And I don't remember a thing about SingStar's career mode. So <laughs> that's all self-discovery as well. That's in a thing 20 years. I don't remember either. I don't remember much. But that's the fun of it. And that's, the, that, that's also like, you know, the skill at the end is uh, plotting out sort of cartography, memory cartography. You plot out a path for the users to go through and it makes some sense of the game that otherwise would never really have documentation on how it really works or plays or any kind of fun secrets. And that's what I love about this, uh, this idea, this, uh, this culture of the retro achievements. Uh, disclaimer, I'm a patron. I pay two bucks a month for it. You don't have to in order to use the service, but... 
I do it because I want the service to stay up, so. Oh, I guess I just drop down here. Yeah. Push button. What a jump. Oh, oh, my toes. <laughs> Again, I love this, this architecture. I love it. It's just like, oh. And the flashlight turns on inexplicably. <laughs> I guess it is probably a little dark in here. Yeah, okay, it's getting a bit dark. Well, just for a moment, because now I'm like back in the other side of the room. Just so I can hit another quake button. And that lowers, or raises that, so let's slide down. Make our way back over there. Making my way down to the lower chambers. I don't know why I'm singing this. <laughs> down we go. I love how it's just, just constant descent as well. It's like, where am I ending up? Who knows? Why are these guys dropping out of the ceiling? Who knows? Why have we got the flashlight on for a hot second again? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Like Half-Life level of just like, oh, there's a little bit of water, you're fine. I love this, like, crushing, like, lift here. And I believe, if you're pro, hold on, because it goes up and down. If you're pro, you can hop on it. And, uh, oh. <laughs> Whoops. I believe there's a ledge up there that you'll see. There you go. Got armor. Uh, <laughs> and, and the secret. I knew of that one. Oh. Coming out of the woodwork, apparently. What even, like, style is this? Because it's like... The Underminer! It's, it's just another tank fight, but still, it's fun! Do I have... I do have double damage, nice. Try and get him, get him real quick. There we go. We have defeated the underminer. We will now not undermine anything, I guess. Um, but I don't know. I love. I just love like you know all these boss fights coming out of nowhere. Even though the, the just the regular game's bosses for the most part is like just give them Hellfire and a fun name. There you go. I'm set. I'm set for life. They know how to make good level design here. And I just love, like, what is going on here, you know? Like, it's just fun, fun world. Fun stuff happening. Is this a lift? Probably is. And now we're on this one, like, walkway above everything. Is that a rail gunner? It is. Hi there, how you doing? Whoop. I fought enough of them now. It's been, we're on, we're on Quake Two video six. Like I, I, I think I've probably caught on by now. There we go. Very nice. And through the doors of harvest, we're back here. Just catch. Not even a different doorway. That was the same doorway. Oops. There we go. Got some armor as well, very nice. Bonk. Bonk. He's got an adventure. Um, but yeah, I should really play more PC Engine games. Uh, I'm still, yeah, I keep saying I'm still working my way through Chrono Cross, which is... Ooh. Whoop. Nice. Oh look, a CD. It, you gotta have a CD. <laughs> Someone probably in the studio is like, what if we just collect the CDs? Like, that's it. That's that's the, the levels. It's incredible. When was the last time anyone has actually, like, used a CD for something? Because I swear for me it's been, like, a solid year. We'll, we'll, we'll say all, like, disc-based media, I guess. 
not just oops, not just CDs because someone's gonna say like but DVDs which count if you're a person who still uses DVDs or Blu-rays shout out because streaming services am I right yeah oh hi again I I love like just how different this is as well and also just like I mean this is probably gonna like stretch on to like three hours this whole well three and a half hours this whole call of the not call it yeah call it the machine I keep trying to call it the mention of the machine because machine games wanted to add machine in the name of both of the expansions I think you can stand here but I remember being a little disappointed there was nothing on that ledge we got waterfalls we got this like what Bruh, all you gotta do is just make big caves, I'm sold. That's, I, I have too many contenders for cool places to take the screenshot, so... You'll know when you click on the VOD, but you don't know now. Now this is why I love, we got a portal here. Hold up. An ancient evil is awakened! I, I, I love this! I love this! It's like, oh! Oh! They finally did it. They connected Quake 1 and 2. They did it. We did it, guys. 2023. The proper Quake 1 and 2 connection going on here. Casually, E1M2 shows up. The Shambler runs at you. You're like, oh my gosh. Just for that one second. That's all it was, it was needed. Also, I'm just saying, it's not even it's like it's in the textures themselves. And we go through the door to witness fatalism. Communication lost. Survive! And this is a very uh, curious thing. There he is! Modir is a big shambler. But also, hilariously, do you see the layout of the room? He's a little annoying because he does kind of do this. You can still shoot him. If you wanted to be the kind of guy who shoots him. Also, we got a little one. But, uh, you can tell what you gotta do, which is, uh... Just like the end boss from the Shareware first episode of Quake 1. You gotta press both buttons. That will lower the thing. You can then press the big button. And that kills him. But you still gotta deal with killing one. And yeah, no, he is a shambler. The effects of him are a little different, but he is a shambler. Which is very cool. And it reveals a hole, which, uh... <laughs> I, I love how, technically, this is a failure. You did not retrieve the CD. Well, you did, but, like, you didn't, you didn't get out of here. <laughs> you went mad, bro. So, I love that. What a fun, just, like, toss-up. <laughs> Throws everything out. Uh, travel to the dimension of the machine and kill the Strog Maker. So, to go into the dimension of the machine, we have now activated this portal. We can now kill the Strog Maker. In we go. We have the Temple of the Creator. We must kill the Strog Maker, the master of the machine. Because isn't that weird? We never actually kill, like, the leader of the Strog. Uh, these platforms sink, which is annoying, but that's okay. Raise the thing. New episode, so obviously you gotta get your weapons back, but that's okay. I got plenty here. Uh, this thing might kick my butt, so I'm just gonna save, like, right here. Just in case. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, am I out of save slots? Okay, cool. This is him! This is the Servitor of Creation. He's just chilling here. Also, this laser gun from ages ago. Uh, that's right, there's multiple of them, by the way. Just thought you'd, thought you'd want to know. We made a tank, we made a flying guy. I don't think this laser gun's actually doing, like, at all what I wanted to do, so I'm just gonna... Old fashioned. The tank is such a big enemy, it's like, you can use a super shot from so far away, it still hits him. But the sinking platforms is like a real... You gotta, you gotta really dance this level. I got little guys everywhere to help fodder out the... Add out the... I guess the enemy count? I don't know. They're not exactly getting them, like, aggroed. They're just kind of revealing a little more hallways behind them. It's 
especially these guys are pretty pains. Uh, I've got rockets. Oh, I need freedom. Okay. Phew. I think I should be getting this guy out. There we go. He's out. Ouch. Let's get the tank behind him out. Do I got any health or? Excuse me, your health is gone. Would you would you mind losing your health? There we go. So once you take him out, we did it. We we defeated the creators. Except the water is draining. What could that possibly mean? The water drains, revealing another floor. Head down to this floor, and uh, that's right. It's uh, it was really the the. The shamblers all along. This is a very cruel fight because uh, you got two of them. Two shamblers always mean. Um, you can sort of do this, which does stun lock them like a fair bit, but it's there's two of them, and you don't get this forever. So we're gonna hope for the best. Also, they're gonna keep spawning other dudes on you. So uh, good luck. Let's, let's uh, commit to the rockets and start seeing what's going on. The fact there's two of them is like a bit pain. So all I gotta do is just make sure one of them dies, which is great because I'm seem to be getting both very evenly right now. But it's just the fact that like I like got all these extra guys are coming out at you, so it's just like you can't you can't hang around for too long because always this happens and then you're very dead. Okay, that, that's not fun. Is it me or do they shoot a bit like quicker than you'd expect as well? Alright, stop it. Chain gun time. Let's get these guys cleared out because I mean you did see there were like 37 enemies and yeah. I'm sort of using all of them. Okay, okay, no, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. A bit more, a bit more energy, but we're doing okay. Just making sure I've got him in line. And there's one more dudes on me, oh gosh. Oh, the health is running low. Do, yeah, I was like, do I dare save there or nah? Oh, I'm gonna itch my nose, okay. Yeah, no, I just lost all my health. It, it is a it is a very very mean section I'll tell you that all right one down it's a lot easier to deal with one okay let's let's commit to the rockets now Uh, there may be more. There may be more, but... This might be the only one I have to deal with. Oh, nope. I spawned just those three more. Been fighting or? There we go. Sequence completed, my favorite, the sequence. Get rid of that guy as well. We did it! Woo! Explosions all around. Explosions all around. That's right. Congratulations! With the masters of the machine dead, the Strog are severed from their maker. Your work is done. Vengeance has been wrought upon the enemy, and you are lost in the infinite cosmic void. Well, not the greatest ending, but thank you for playing. <laughs> not the happiest of endings, but we did it! We stopped. The Masters of the Universe, He-Man is dead, apparently. Uh, and yeah, that was it. That is Quake 2 Call of the Machine. What a very, very fun pack of levels. Very, very good fun. I love just showing a- <laughs> bringing the Shamblers back just for a hot moment. Very fun. Um, 
Yeah, no, nah, it's oh, it's so good, it's so good. Uh, oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, so do I have how much of a save do I have left? Mm, probably none, because I was gonna say it actually says the secret level for um for the reason why I didn't spot the secret level is apparently before you end the unit by uploading the data CD you have to go back to ruined earth by falling down the hole again then you head back to secret 4 and echoes of the past which is near the water wheels you may notice that the drill block in the way has now been removed you can now enter this area crouch through a small gap oh was I almost there uh ish crouch through a small gap and destroy some planks to find a strange grate uh, is that the secret level? No, sorry, that's an extra secret at the end. Uh, where's the secret level? Where is it? It's in the strong mining intake. I feel like it'd be a bit, so just use your imagination. It's somewhere around there. There is one last secret level I want to go into, and that is if you go to map Q64 uh, DM4, uh, this is an actual bonus level called Twist that's in the actual Quake 64. It is a deathmatch level, but it's just a small little level that you can show off. Um, it involves uh, defeating four of these guys, and you just get rockets. Uh, also, yes, there was a part timer of uh, 1 minute 40, so can you do it in 1 minute 40? Well, it's 6 seconds, it's barely any time. Once you do that, a uh, big guy shows up. Circle strafe, because uh, that's all you can do. But yeah, Quake 2, I feel like this port, again, like Quake 1, should give people a much better appreciation of what makes Quake 2 wonderful by giving it some levels that actually really make it shine. Quake 2 is certainly a very fine game. Uh, it's got a bit of an identity crisis in the sense of, like, it doesn't try like so hard like Quake 1 does and in turn perhaps maybe there's a bit of uh, complacency hit scan enemies are also a bit annoying um, I think the guy is where is the guy there he is he spawns in a weird spot it is a weird spot down there because it's like oh no I'm gonna deal with rockets but it's not that bad there you go. Defeated. Mission completed. That was pretty good. But can you do it with just the blaster? That's what the game says. I don't know. Like, it doesn't exactly exert that, or, or assert that, rather. Exert is not the right word. Um, but it doesn't exactly assert that you have to use the blaster. But yeah, no, I feel like Quake 2, not only on the, the, the technical, you know, whatever the game did, but also, like, it's, it's a much more modern game than I think people were expecting. But it's got fun things. It's got the railgun. It's got that great mixture of, you know, your super shoddy and your assault rifle kind of weapon and your grenade launcher and your rocket launcher. Uh, some energy weapons, some fun extra weapons in the mix for the, the expansions. All boiled up into one great package now. I think it's in a real good state and I'm glad that Quake 2 got the Quake 1 treatment. The Samuel Villarreal Kex, uh, Kex engine? Yeah, I was about to say the Gex engine. I was like, no, not the Gex engine, the Kex engine. Um, it got that wonderful treatment. It's, it's great. I... I'm really digging it, uh, and I've really digged it, and I really hope, yeah, if you enjoyed any bit of this, you know, feel free, you know, pick it up, it's great, it's a good one. Um, I, I have not played the multiplayer, but yeah, if you try to, you know, you try to go in, how many people are playing it right now, let's just give it a check. Join a match, can I get into one? Oh my gosh, 302 milliseconds, but you know what, let's just do it for funsies. Let's just do it for funsies. Oh, we're gonna see some. There we go. Quake two eeks. There you go. Look at this. It's a guy. I've got mad latency. Can we? Can we hit anyone? I've still got my ski free. Why does it say there's only four people? It said there were like fourteen a moment ago. Come on, we gotta get someone. We gotta get a multiplayer frag before I call it a day. Is anyone? There's a ton of multiplayer maps as well because, like, there's so many things that have 
you know, been made for this. All the expansions had their own multiplayer maps, and the even the you know machine games made a couple. So lots of good stuff. Dang it! Where's where is anyone? There are people here. There are certainly people here. I want to greet you all and say hi and use this rocket launcher to. Are we all just rotating clockwise around this map, or...? I mean, given that no one's picked up a quad damage, it's a maybe. Come on! Come on, where is anyone? Shit, where are they? So it's just like hide and seek server. They're really just hiding from me. I don't know where on earth they are. I still don't know where on earth they are. What on earth? Did I just join a customer? Oh, okay. We joined the other one. Sorry, these people. Sorry. <laughs> uh, come on, let's find a different one. Let's find a. Uh, join the match. That was his website, was it not? If I just click on this, lobby is full. Ah. Come on, we gotta get a we gotta get a multiplayer kill before the end of the day. Lava tomb. How long? It's, it's gotta be here, right? Boodoo. There we go. There's a guy. And I jumped in the lava. Nice. All right, come on, come on. We gotta get one. an interesting map though. What, on, what is the flow going on here? Ah, oh, okay. Very odd area to be in, but sure. Well, I got BFG, so... And there's just another... Pit? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm... I'm showing my expertise right now. I just played through all that and then it's like, yep. That BFG. Oh, it's still there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know. I know. I just did that twice, but it's like I had a theory. I was trying to confirm it. Oh boy. The tricky part is not killing him. It's like making sure he doesn't fall in the lava. Come on. For reference, the left click is just. This is just a latency from the server. Ah, uh, yeah, you see? I'm trying to- I'm trying to get my kills. Currently I'm winning at negative three. Come on, come on, I need to get one. Peace! Seems like very bot behavior, doesn't it? What is going on here, by the way? Oh boy. Hey! Oh. Yes! I did it! There you go. One kill. Let's try and go for two. Dang it. Oh, how long have I got left for the map? Four minutes? Alright, we'll run until four minutes. We gotta do some multiplayer. Come on. That's, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Just keep going on the BFG and someone's gonna say, like, Bruh, like, what are you doing? Barely see over here, though. Woo! What is this map? What is going on here? Hey! <laughs> you thought you were safe. You are not safe from me. <laughs> we're back to zero. We did it. We broke even. Dang it. The railgun is still a king weapon, though. Whoa. The KD will forever be zero, negative one. I will still never fully understand the flow of this level, apparently. 
But oh well. Nah, Quake 2, Quake 2 is certainly a very important game, and even, you know, even though it does lack the, uh, the, the John Romero, uh, vintage level design seal of approval, um, I think it still does have a lot of, like, strengths going for it. Um, and especially as well, like, as an overall vibe, it doesn't replace Quake 1. It is its own game, and it sort of has its own jousting kind of gameplay style and loop. I was definitely aiming at him. Oh, he went there. He went there. He went there. He said, yep, that's the one weapon I know I can get him by. What's, what latency are these guys dealing with? 82, that's why. My movement is pretty on point, by the way, so... Nice! I'm glad I'm just getting BFG. Come on, I gotta end with at least one. There's a lot of lava jumping, ain't it? Nice. <laughs> I ran out. Oh, and then he just jumps into lava, and the whole fight was for naught. Oh, I just realized that's how he's getting all his kills, because he's just AFK, it's just the same guy. He's like right behind me, ain't he? What a weirdly dark map, ain't it? Oh, we got one minute left. This is boring. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to end on positivity, and he's just like, ah, this is boring. No, oh, the poor guy. The poor guy. That has to be a real player moving like that. No way. No way is an AI doing that kind of weird movement. Oh well. So, moral is... I, I don't know. I, I have a very soft spot for Quake 2. And I think even though... I don't know if I like it as much as Quake 1. I think the Call of the Machine stuff is... Certainly, like, such a welcome addition, and never mind all the engine improvements, and... Nice. Nice! Nearly got double killed by both of them. Why are so many of these are... Oh, I think we're... Oh. Me, end with positive, at least. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Well. That was a romp. That was fun. So with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, any of the, the streams, whatever, if you miss any bits, you can view them on YouTube, where hopefully they will be there very soon-ish. We'll see. The 4080 does not software render things any quicker because Premiere is a real, real annoying piece of software and it keeps crashing all the time. Just, uh, it's a pain. But, uh, but yeah, no, if you, if you can subscribe there and be alerted of the VODs, or you could just follow on Twitch if you're on YouTube, because I do these at streams at 8.30pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time right now. Uh, we will move on to a new game next week. Uh, I've mentioned it probably a couple of times. We'll leave it as a mystery for the people who aren't aware what it is. Uh, but yeah, no, we're in February. We got the, the Lunar New Year coming up this Saturday. So happy Lunar New Year, everyone. I'll see you on the flip. Uh, I'll greet you all next week for a brand new game. What will it be? You'll have to see. Thanks, everyone. Peace. 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 I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs>